For at least 25 years, Chicago's Bowen High School has endured tumultuous and often disheartening change, with educators trying one reform after another to improve dismal academic performance at the South Chicago Neighborhood School. Chicago Public Schools tried a school within a school plan in the 1990s, creating small schools within the massive red brick building. Then came intervention teams to guide educators, and a redesign that closed Bowen in favor of four separate high schools that operated within its building for many years. Next came a curriculum overhaul, followed by the four schools becoming one again. After that, Bowen was awarded nearly $4 million in federal school improvement grants to transform itself with strategies that included extending school hours, creating literacy programs and providing extra instruction in math. Yet the school's academics remain abysmal, demonstrating the difficulty of rescuing places like Bowen, one of 17 neighborhood high schools identified by a Tribune analysis as being among Chicago's most underused and underperforming shrinking schools that are shortchanging students who deserve better. Despite the hefty investment of taxpayer dollars, private foundation funds and countless hours of work, Bowen produces rock-bottom scores on state exams and other academic measures. And with enrollment dwindling to about 300 students, most of them African-American, in a cavernous building CPS says is suited for 912, alumni and other supporters fear Bowen could be shut down after a moratorium on school closings ends next year. I just believe that it is part of the neighborhood. If it goes, the neighborhood goes, to me. That is my connection to it, said Kenneth Litzy, a member of the class of 1990 who is active in the school's alumni association and still lives in the neighborhood. Bowen alumnus Kenneth Litzy, who was also an assistant football coach at the school, stands outside Bowen High School in Chicago on November 6, 2017. Bowen alumnus Kenneth Litzy, who was also an assistant football coach at the school, stands outside Bowen High School in Chicago on November 6, 2017. Like the other struggling neighborhood schools, Bowen has been affected by the district's emphasis on offering families a wealth of school choices. CPS allowed a charter school to open in Bowen's Annex building in August 2013, and last year 128 potential Bowen students chose to attend classes there. Enrollment in the traditional school building tumbled even as educators used millions of federal grant dollars to boost student achievement between 2012-13 and 2015-16. Overall, CPS has spent $128.8 million in federal school improvement grants on about 30 schools, including Bowen, since 2008-09, according to the most recent figures from the Illinois State Board of Education. Most of the grants went to troubled high schools, and the bulk of the money was dispersed starting in 2010-11. 11 of the 17 under-enrolled and underperforming schools identified by the Tribune received grants totaling $59.8 million, with awards ranging from $2.40 to $5.8 million, usually over a three-year period. Bowen's initial grant was $3.45 million over three years.